Okay, we're looking at GCF LCM word problems, and a lot of students panic when they hear about word problems, but I will ease your mind because GCF LCM word problems are actually super easy. Um, remember, you gotta use that upside down birthday cake, um, but also all you gotta do is look for some keywords and it'll tell you exactly what you're doing every single time. So let's read this question real quick. At the grand opening of a new store, every ninth customer will receive a balloon and every twelfth customer will receive a $10 gift certificate. Which customer will be the first to get both a balloon and a gift certificate? All right, so what they're saying is there, there's this grand opening of a store. The line is super long. There's lots of people coming in all day long. Um, and certain customers are going to be getting a gift. So every ninth and every twelfth. Um, eventually, one person's going to hit it right on the on the nose, and they're going to get two gifts. Um, so it's also important to see this ten dollars right here is kind of there to mess you up. It's not really needed, um, but a lot of tests put that third number up there to try to mess you up. Um, but really, all we care about is where it says every ninth and every twelfth. All right, so remember I told you there's some keywords that let you know uh, what type of problem you're gonna be doing. Anytime you see every, every, it means it's an LCM problem. Okay, so every, every means it's gonna be LCM. So all I'm doing is I'm finding the LCM of nine and 12. So remember we use our birthday cake. Okay. So what is a number that goes into 9 and it also goes into 12? Well, that would be 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Only thing that goes into 3 and 4 is 1. So I know when I get that 1 on the outside, I'm now done. So remember, it is LCM, and that's important because you need to do the side and the bottom. And remember, you multiply them. So three times one is three. Three times three is nine. Nine times four is 36. So that means that the 36th customer is gonna be the first one that gets both prizes. So remember, just to show you what I just did, I did three times one times three times four. All I did was multiply those numbers that are on the outside and the bottom, okay? But remember, if you see every, every, it's always going to be an LCM problem, okay? All right, let's look at another one. Okay, still doing GCF LCM word problems. So it says, in gym class, the coach is dividing the students into teams. Each team should have the same number of boys and the same number of girls. There are 84 boys and 72 girls. What is the greatest number of teams that the coach can make? So once again, um, I'm looking for some keywords. Now this one is kind of a little bit easier in my opinion. It says the word right here, greatest. Well, greatest is in the word GCF, greatest common factor. So that tells me that this is a GCF problem. Okay. Um, and fortunately, from what I've seen on test, um, with these types of questions, greatest is the one they use most often, which should be nice for you. Cause like I said, greatest is in the word GCF. So it makes it a little bit easier. Um, this one just gave me the two numbers, so it didn't even confuse me with a third number. So all I'm doing is setting up my two numbers. All right, and what's the number that goes into 84 and 72? You have more than one option here, but I'm just going to start with what I think most students will use, and that would be two. All right, so 84 divided by two gives you 42. Okay, 72 divided by 2 gives you 36. And it does not matter that we've got the bigger number first. It, it, it doesn't matter at all. It won't change anything. Okay, so now we're on to this row. What's the number that goes into 42 and it also goes into 36? Once again, you have more than one option. Um, but the first one that comes to mind for me is 6. All right, so 42 divided by 6 gives me 7. 36 divided by 6 gives you 6. Okay, so what's the number that goes into 7? It also goes into 6. 
that would be one. All right, I got that one on the outside, so I now know I'm done. But remember, it's a GCF problem, so the only thing I care about is the outside. So I multiply what's on the outside. Two times six times one gives me 12. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, so this one right here. Now this one might scare a lot of people because it's really long and there seems to be a lot of words in it. But remember, if you can focus in on those keywords, it'll make life a little bit easier. So let's read it real quick. The lunch special at Dale's restaurant repeats every eight days, and the lunch special at Emily's restaurant repeats every 12 days. Both restaurants are serving the same lunch special today. Chicken fried steak with gravy. How many days will there be until the next time both restaurants again serve chicken fried gravy, chicken fried steak with gravy? So once again, a lot of words might scare some people, but remember, I'm looking for those key words, and I already see it. Every, every. All right, and I just told you a little while ago, when you see every, every, that means it is an LCM problem. Okay, so I'm finding the LCM of the two numbers they gave me. They gave me eight and 12. Okay, so what's the number that goes into eight and it also goes into 12? The first one I think of is four. Eight divided by four is two. 12 divided by 4 is 3. What goes into 2 and 3? Well, the only number that works is 1. I got that 1 on the outside, so now I know I'm done. But since it's LCM, that means I have to do the side and the bottom. Remember, you're multiplying. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Okay? We'll do one more. All right. And once again, I already see some keywords. Um, hopefully you see them as well. Um, it says every sixth person, every tenth person. Okay. So hopefully you understand now every, every means LCM. Okay. So I'm doing every sixth and every tenth. But what's the number that goes into six and it also goes into ten? Well, that would be two. Six divided by two is three. Ten divided by two is five. Okay, what goes into three and five? That would be one. I got that one on the outside, so I know I'm done now. But it's LCM, so I do the side and the bottom. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 5 is 30, so the 30th uh, person, okay? So remember, for these questions, you're just looking for those keywords. Um, a common one for LCM is every, every, um, or least, which is also really nice because it's least common multiple, so once again, the word is in the, in the um, term. Um, for uh, GCF questions, you'll see greatest or maximum. Um, you'll see those a lot. So just be looking for those keywords and it will help you solve these word problems.